change order number 007, New City Hall. I have a letter for you. It's the 14 days and the upgrade on the interest pension. I move to approve based on the contents of the letter. Second. All in favor? All right. I'm putting Mr. Carew as executive director of the Hey, Mac, payment of invoice JVHM Architects HMGP design upgrades. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed motion carried. Police Department personnel one for comp time and one reversion to previous rank. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed motion carried. I think it was on in Port and Harbor. Personnel one resignation. We just need a motion to approve. Hello. Has this gone to the harbor? Yeah. Yes. Committee. The Port Commission. No. Oh no, this is a resignation. This is a resignation. Okay. Employee. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. It went to the Harbor Master. We have a motion and we have a second. No. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Unfinished business, property cleanup, environmental court, all of them. I think we have Judge uh, Rock here to give you a, give the board an update on where they are with this process. Mississippi are created one of two ways. They're either created by, this is the Constitution, or they're created by a state statute. Um, so for us to say that we are creating an environmental court is really uh, kind of a mistake. Uh, what we're doing is, uh, I believe what y'all passed with ordinance um, 570, is you're given the municipal court jurisdiction over environmental type cases. And so what we're doing is we're going to have an environmental court now sitting as a court that oversees these types of specific uh, code violations, whether they're on lots, jump cars, open swimming pools, things like that. Um, yeah, so in the past we've not, we've not heard those kinds of cases. Um, mainly the election the statute, uh, or the, rather the city ordinance, was set up in a way to, to give us the proper authority over that. This board is going to pass an ordinance on that and straighten out that issue. We now have not only uh, authority to over the ordinance, which we've always had, but we now have to have a penalty that we can enforce in, in that regard. The penalty ranges from zero to a thousand dollars, or zero to six months in jail, and uh, or even or whatever happens to be appropriate. And the court also has at its discretion other other means uh, to enforce compliance, whether it's probation. You know, review period, whatever, whatever has to be appropriate for a particular offense. That being said, um, you know, to answer your question, we are going to start hearing environmental cases. We're not creating a true blue environmental court. Um, because to do so, you're going to have to, you know, that's a whole different uh, ball of wax. But we are set up to hear those. I think we're having an arraignment for the first time this coming Friday on one of our first cases that are trickled through the court. My goal um, is not to obviously not to prejudge these cases before they come in front of me, but make sure that they do progress through the court in order to finish. What we plan to do is uh, allow uh, the the, the uh, planning department or the zoning department uh, and the joint officials to you know to, to get their processes in order. And uh, as, as Ms. Leatherwood is, is in the process of contacting the property owners sending out her proper notices and whatnot, they will start hitting the, the municipal court. Once we build up to more of a critical mass uh, of cases, which I expect won't be long, we're going to set those on a special docket. They'll be, they'll be separated out and apart from the normal municipal court docket. We'll hear those either starting later in the day on Friday at 1 o'clock, or we'll hear them at a special time on Wednesday afternoon, or whatever happens to be appropriate for, you know, for 
case. But that's where we are. The ordinance has been straightened out, so the court now has proper jurisdiction over them. The cases are starting to trickle through, and that's where we are now. Building question. But, when you, you said, well, actually, y'all get ready to get going. So it's yes, it's in the process right now. It's in the process right now. And, uh, and just just so y'all know, I mean, the, the notices that that Ms. Underwood is sending out gives you know it's basically a two step process. She sends out a first letter that advises the homeowners that they are they are in violation <laughs> of a particular ordinance that has been applied for them. Give them a certain amount of time to correct the problem. If that problem is not corrected, then it's my understanding a second notice goes out advising them of an actual citation that so you've now been cited for this. And at that point, she'll be able to put them on the municipal court docket. They'll come in and, and, and travel through the process. They'll be able to give an arraignment. If they come in, if they're guilty, not guilty. If they plead you guilty, we'll go ahead and address the problem immediately on the spot there. If they're not guilty, they'll give the trial date an opportunity to present their case and open court along with everybody else. But, uh, but that's what we're going to do. How you serve them? Uh, like, yeah, you know, also be serve them and tell them that they're that's they have a court date. They have to be a proper member. Do you have anything, uh, Judge Ron? Like yeah, we appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate your hard work and, and it's, it's been a long time coming, you know, two or more years. But, actually, uh, well, actually, you know, though, uh, Gary, this has really been quite been efficient fun. because Duckport worked on it for yeah. about a year and a half. That's right. Yeah. And we're putting this together yeah. in about six months. Yeah. So it's not bad. Judge Roth, I have a, a question. So Friday, and I have a number of people that have have expressed interest they want to even go to this arraignment. Uh, arraignments, Jane Morrison called me and told me basically around 10. Is that we start calling the docket, I think it mentioned 9 o'clock, and we start calling the docket. Uh, we'll run through the trial docket and then the arraignment docket. And as we go through the arraignment docket, the, uh, the people are given the opportunity to plead guilty or not guilty. I go down the entire docket. Then those who plead guilty, Come up okay. by giving the appropriate sentence or whatever happens to be appropriate for their particular client. If they're not guilty, they give an opportunity to the prosecutor. If you can't work out something, they're going to get on trial and they come back in two weeks. Or okay. I, I just, I don't know if any of you have been to our city court. <coughs> it is probably, it's the pits. No, your facility is really, really bad. I, I don't like to get better. better. I don't like give to sit there. Give us a game, it'll get better. Yeah, and, it, and I just appreciate uh, all that your clerks do. No way, you won't get all passed on all. No, I know y'all have, y'all don't even have public restrooms there. We're busy. I'll Four say that. If, if you haven't been to city court land, you ought to come down. It's busy. We have It's an interesting experience. We have 358 charges on the docket. And I'll be there for a while. Would y'all be there for a couple hours? <laughs> 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 Justice is swift now. Keep it up. <laughs> okay, appreciate it. Thank you, Judge. All right, everybody's good. Thank you, uh, Judge Roth.